At this point, we are ready to add the networking for multiplayer. Yes. So click on the Iron Man prefab and make sure you apply the changes to the uh, prefab. Now, once this is done, we don't need this character anymore, so you can just remove it. How? You know, just right click and delete. That's it. All right. Now, just make sure that everything's okay and locate your Iron Man prefab, prefab and drag and drop it. Okay. And make sure that when you press play, it still works. Okay. All right. So it still works. Yep. Okay. So make sure yours still works. If not, you can always get it back from the project. Having uh, said so, I don't need it anymore. So I'm going to remove that. All right. Now, whenever you want to apply the multiplayer to any game, you have to think about there's two different types of games playing at the same time. There's the server and the client. Now, the server is the one that hosts all the environment and all the players and that knows about where all the players are at the same time and what's shooting, what's running, what's doing everything. And then you have the clients. Clients is just some, you know, some guy that's playing on his computer, his or her computer, and just plays with one, one, um, one character. And then the car this client reports to the server and tells, hey, I'm moving this way, I'm going that way. So tell all the other clients or all, tell the other p players that I'm doing this and that. So remember, there's one server and multiple clients. Now, Unity makes it in a way that the server is also a client, meaning that your server hosts other clients and it's hosting itself so that it can play. Now, it's not 100% true all the time because you can just be a server and not have players and just have other people playing your game on your server. Okay, having said so, let's go ahead and turn this into a multiplayer game. I'm going to create a new object, so game object, create empty. And I'm going to rename that to network manager. Once I do so, I want to make it a network manager. Right now it's just an empty object. So I'm going to click on add component and click on network. So I'm going to look for network and look at, locate the network manager. Okay, right here. You guys see it? Just press there and here it is. Now I have the network manager. Um, okay, as you can see, don't destroy on load, perfect. Run in background, perfect. Then there's the offline scene and, on, and online scene. What you need to do is select the scene right here, the one that we're using here, okay, which is scene-iron man. So click on the online mode and select the scene-iron man. Same thing for offline mode. Now, remember earlier I told you that you, it's, uh, if you start, it's great if you um, create a new scene and create new scripts. Why? So that you can have an offline mode as well, so that people can play in single campaign mode and in multiplayer mode. But here, as you can see, I'm using both the same scenes just for the sake of learning. All right. Now, don't do anything on the network infos. Use the, use the, uh, the default ones because Unity, if you want to test, this is the best to test. All right. And then spawn info, same thing right now. Uh, we're going to assign the player prefab, okay? So click here and select from the assets the player prefab. Now, obviously, it's the Iron Man prefab right here. So click here and here goes the Iron Man prefab. Now, as you can see, it did not go there. Why? It says here, the player prefab must, be, must have a network identity. And I knew I would get the error, but don't worry about it. We're about to do that right now. But before we do so, add another component and locate the network HUD, so network manager HUD. What's the HUD? Well, it's basically uh, the display that Unity created for you so that you can, so you can join or create a new game, multiplayer game, without having to create the user interface. All right, so now look, I'm gonna press play, and guess what? As you can see, I have all these buttons already created for me, I never had to do anything, and it, know, it knows that I'm gonna create um, a multiplayer game. By the way, don't worry about the name LAN. That just means that you're going to play multiplayer through the network. Okay. All right. So now let's fix the error that it was saying. It was saying that I cannot add my player because it's not, it's not a network identity. So go to the project and locate the Iron Man prefab. Now inside of the inspector, click on add component and locate, locate network identity. All right. Network identity and select it. All right, go all the way down and you will see the network identity here. Make sure you select local player authority because uh, you, 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 you might not understand what exactly this means, but it's, uh, you'll see in the future, in, uh, in the next lecture, it's basically a way saying that 
uh, you, you only want to control the local character. You don't want to start, you know, when you move your keys or you move your uh, on your device, you don't want to move every character. You know, y the other p players will be pissed off if you start moving their characters, right? And you will be pissed off if somebody else is playing with your character and his character too. Now, if you look inside of the console, you see we have new errors here and it says something with the camera follow. So the reason why is that the camera is following the main character, but guess what? Since we're in multiplayer, there's not just one main character. There's like as many main characters as there are many players. So you gotta say that, hey, you gotta follow the one that, that is spawned just for you. So right here, you see the target. I'm going to say um, if the target is different than null. So basically, if the target exists, then do that, okay? So make sure you do that for, for the start here as well so that we don't follow anything that's not, that doesn't exist, okay? All right. Okay, so I'm gonna save this and uh, now the error should go away. I'm going back to the console. All right, I'm gonna clear this. Now I'm gonna press play and let's see if the error happens. No, I don't see any error, that's great. Now I clicked on LAN and as soon as I clicked on LAN, as you can see, there's the Iron Man prefab here. You guys see it? Let me, let me remove the sound. Okay, you guys see the Ironman prefab? But how come we don't see it? It's because we never said where exactly it's going to spawn. All right, so if you go to the scene and you'll double click, you'll see that, yeah, there's the Ironman prefab, but it's definitely not where we want it to be. Why? Because we need spawn points. So in the next lecture, we're going to create different spawn points. And we don't want to make only one spawn point. We want to make multiple spawn points for as many characters as we want the game to have.